um, we have to move on to discuss the Jets firing GM Joe Douglas. Now, the Jets experience has been absolutely devastating this season. They fired Robert Sala earlier this year after that loss to Minnesota, which dropped them to 2-3. and three. And, um, and uh, they were looking for immediate answers. And since that firing, they have improved so much that they are 3-8 and eight now. So they went... Since then, one and six. One and five. One and five, yeah, one and five. And their one lone win coming against a Houston's team, Texans team that uh, I spoke a little bit about in the first segment. They're not that great of a football team. But, uh, but yeah, the Jets are the Jets, and... and Despite signing Aaron Rodgers, the you know the whole the the Jets controller, the Jets culture, um, is undefeated and they they're you know they've been a losing team for the entirety of my football watching life. I have to say I wasn't really around you know I was around but I wasn't really cognitive enough to understand what was going on during the Rex Ryan era. So this the you know I've never seen the Jets play be a good football team you know. <coughs> they had that one year with Fitzpatrick where I believe they finished ten and six, but they missed the playoffs. Well, they when they lost to Buffalo in Week Seventeen, and uh, and um, yeah, they you know it, it's been horrible, and you know you finally end up getting Aaron Rodgers back, and as you get Aaron Rodgers back, suddenly your defense drops from being you know a top three defense into the league to you know, pretty pedestrian, you know, I'd probably rank them in like the 10 to 15 range, if not even lower, they're nowhere near the greatness, they're nowhere near the greatness of some of the Jets defense teams we've seen in the past couple of years, the main issue with those two teams is, well, those couple of teams is that, you know, Zach Wilson was their starter for the for both, well, for the first season and for both seasons, essentially, Aaron Rodgers got hurt the first play, the first couple of plays in the um first game. But you had Zach Wilson at quarterback, and how even how elite you play defensively, you're not getting that many results. Now, Aaron Rodgers, I don't think he's been, I I really don't think he's been terrible this season. Obviously, there's been some throws that he's left out there that he's made in the past, and he's become a little bit more turnover frequent in the past. But I don't see. Much decrease in arm velocity, arm velocity, arm accuracy, even pocket presence, and his mobility. I don't see it that much worse. I just see a dude that's uncomfortable in the environment he's in, and don't have much cohesion with the wide receivers. Period. You and another devastating part about this, if you're a Jets fan, is that you've also brought in Devonte Adams, and they're looking the way that they've looked so far this season. Yeah, I don't know. Um, uh, I really, as a Jets fan, I really do not know where to go. Obviously, you know, this season now is a bust. And, um, you know, you try to um, rack up whatever you can and uh, out of the season and and move on. But, you know, you're going forward. You have Rodgers for another year at least. Um, you have a team that's missing now general manager who um joe douglas by the way that was the main topic of the segment is that the fact joe douglas was fired but um you know you fire joe douglas you fire robert sala but um when it's a time to fire woody johnson who's been coaching these gms and head coaches over and over again and he's continuously has got it wrong you know, when is time to, you know, when is the time for the New York Jets fans to rise up, to go and protest the streets, demanding Woody Johnson sells the team as European fans would do in Europe, European soccer fans will do in Europe. You see what the Glazers ownership group at United, who also, by the way, owned the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and certain other groups that um, that run their clubs really poorly the fans have you know they're not afraid to say something about it where is that in the american culture and i think joe douglas overall has done a good job building that defense i think offensively this look 
You know, a lot of people said before this season, Aaron Rod- this is Aaron Rodgers' most talented team that he's had in his career. Well, guess what? I mean, this is a really talented football team, and, you know, Joe Douglas has a lot to do with that. You know, I th- you know, and um, now I think there's been questionable decision making he's made had in his tenure. But when it comes to this team, is this seriously the general manager that you are supposed to blame for this, or is it just the fact that this team just has a losing mentality, losing culture, and are pretty unlucky too? There's an unlucky element to it as well. And um, yeah, I just I don't know what what I don't know where the Jets go from here. You're obviously tied with. Um, you're obviously tied with Aaron Rodgers now for uh, for a pretty long time and um, or not a long time but for another year but again he's a 40 year old quarterback and <coughs> <coughs> and um you know, you're reeling right now. Is it full-on rebuild mode when you're firing your head coach, when you're firing your general manager? It's almost setting up a rebuild. It's almost admitting the failures of this Air Rogers trade. They've compounded that failure by also adding in another failure trade of getting Devontae Adams, which doesn't cost nearly as much, but it's still assets lost to make that acquisition happen. And by the way, I feel for Devontae Adams, you know, he's left Green Bay, you know, to try to play with his best friend, Derek Carr. He, Derek Carr ended up getting traded away. He tries to go back to Aaron Rodgers to kind of, try to kind of recapture that old glory that he had with the Packers. And guess what? They're they're even worse than the Raiders. Or they're just, they're just as bad as the Raiders. And, you know, this, I firmly believe Devontae. Ad, players like Devontae Adams, players like Keenan Allen, I think they deserve a lot more from the production that they've had and the consistent levels that they've had in their careers. They deserve a lot more in terms of, actually, Devontae Adams has played in quite a, a quite a lot of big games, but he hasn't played in the game. And Keenan Allen, he's played in very few big games, and I think he's one of the most underrated receivers in the history of football. And... uh and yeah, it's just unfortunate for Devontae Adams. It's um, it's unfortunate for Robert Sala as well. I think he's been part of this unlike uh, unlucky um, group of occurrences to happen with the Jets. And yeah, it's it's a mess. And you know they can fire Joe Douglas all they want. The real issue with this New York Giants team won't go until this owner decides to. Either sell the football team or take his head out of where the sun doesn't shine and bring in proper football aficionados to manage completely the sporting side of the game and he can just sit there and collect the paycheck like what most owners are good for because these owners, they're not, they're not football men. You know, I know, you know, you look at Jerry Jones and he did play the occasional college football, but these owners, you know, they got rich off of their businesses or oil or something of that sort. You know, they, in terms of being able to make football decisions, not the most brightest. And I think Woody Allen's a perfect example of that.